Hey there, are you ready to understand a song in English? Let's learn English with Taylor Swift's hit new song, Me. So if you want to understand fast speaking names without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell down below because we help you to do that every single week. I'm a handful. Informally speaking, if someone is a handful, they are very difficult to deal with or control. Example, her older son is calm and responsible, but the little one is a bit of a handful. A handful is literally the amount of something that can be held in one hand. It can also refer to a small number of people or things. Example, put about a handful of chocolate chips in the cookies. She invited all of her friends to the party, but only a handful of them turned up. Baby. As used in the song, baby is a term of endearment. That is, a loving word used for calling the people you're intimate with. In the case of the word baby, it's mostly used between two people who are romantically involved. Sometimes we reduce it to babe. Example, why are you up so early, babe? Hey honey, do you think we should invite your parents for dinner? As we see later in the song, one can also say baby doll. However, this is less common nowadays. It would be used more to refer to women than men. Uh, I, know I, never think before I, jump. I never think before I jump. Here, Taylor is actually speaking metaphorically. If you don't think before you jump, in this figurative sense, you act impulsively, taking risks without thinking about the consequences. Learn a lot more about how to use figurative expressions in English to sound more native-like with this lesson with the Jonas Brothers. Ladies, chicks. Lady and chick are both alternative colloquial ways to say woman particularly a young woman. Keep in mind, chick is a bit more slangy than lady. Example, the chick over there with the sunglasses is beautiful. An equivalent of lady for a man would be guy, which we also see in this song. Example, the ladies had cocktails and chatted while the guys were watching a football game. I know that I went, psycho on the phone. went psycho on the phone. The word psycho is a term for someone who is mentally unstable. Now, while it can be used in a more serious context when referring to people who are actually affected by mental disease, it is also used as slang to refer to moments when one acts very irrational, like a crazy person. To go psycho on the phone is to act in such a way while speaking on the phone. Example, his little sister went psycho when he stole her candy. Pronunciation note, the P in psycho is completely silent, psycho. Hey, do you want to understand fast speaking natives? Well, we want to help you out. We teach you exactly how in our free three-part mini course. You can learn more about that and sign up by clicking up here or down in the description below. To never leave well enough alone. If something is well enough, it means that it is satisfactory. Example. I liked her well enough, but I wasn't convinced to ask her out on a date. If you never leave well enough alone, it means you are not content with something being satisfactory. In other words, you want things to be exceptional or even perfect. Taylor probably means that she can't be happy that her relationship is going well. She wants it to be more exciting. I promise that you'll never find another like me. I promise that you'll never find another like me. You'll never find another like me I'm the only one of me Baby, that's the fun of me I'm the only one of me This is another way to say I'm completely unique Another similar and more common expression is one of a kind We can use it to describe both people and things Example Amelia Clark is one of a kind She's beautiful and a terrific actress this model of the Audi R8 is one of kind. They haven't made any others like it. That's the fun of me. The aspect of something that makes it entertaining. So she is saying that what makes her amusing as a person is the fact that she is unique. Example, 
I don't like Monopoly, there's too much strategy involved. What? That's the fun of it. As summed up by these two lines, the message of the song is probably that each of our uniqueness is what makes us fun, great, and special. To make it about somebody. To connect something that happened to a specific person, even though they might not be related or at fault. If you make it about yourself, as Brendan does here, it means that you are taking something personally, whether or not it is actually related to you. Example, stop trying to make it about you. My decision has nothing to do with you. She makes everything about her. She doesn't even think about anyone else. Tend to, to have the tendency to. To be likely, though not definite, to behave in a particular way or have a particular characteristic. Example, we tend to get cold winters and warm dry summers in this part of the country. British people traditionally tend to not display much emotion in public. I know you never get just what you see, but I will never bore you, baby. To bore somebody. To talk or act in a way that makes somebody else lose interest in what you are saying or doing. This verb is more commonly heard in the form of expressions such as to bore somebody out of their mind, or bore somebody to tears, which is more emphatic, but means the same as just to bore. Example, I'm not gonna bore you with all the details. The movie bored me to tears. Do you love Taylor Swift? Well, we've actually done a couple lessons with her music and an interview. You can find all those in this new playlist by clicking up here or down in the description below. <laughs> Lame. The opposite of cool. Boring. Not trendy or fashionable. Example. Those shoes are lame. Our new English teacher is always making lame jokes. I never want to see you walk away. Walk away. Phrase a verb meaning literally to walk in the opposite direction of something or figuratively, as in the song, to leave or abandon someone. Example, as we were walking away from the beach, I found a $20 bill in the sand. You should never just walk away from a fight. Let me keep you company. Let me keep you company. Let me keep you company. Keep you company to accompany or spend time with someone in order to prevent them from feeling lonely or bored. Example, can you keep me company for a while? I don't want to be alone. There ain't no I in team, but you know there is a me. The expression there is no I in team is common in sports or the workplace to say that when you are participating in a group effort, you can't be selfish or only think about yourself. It does this by saying that the letter I, which is also the first person subject pronoun, is not found in the spelling of team. The song then contradicts this common expression by saying that although team does not have the letter I, it does have the letters M and E, which can make the first person object pronoun me. Learn more about this expression and other common sports idioms in this lesson with friends. Strike the band up, one, two, three. Strike the band up. A band is a group that plays music to animate a crowd, for example, at a sporting event. This phrasal verb is a specific jargon in this context. To strike the band up means to make the band start playing a piece of music. A more common use of strike up means to start a casual conversation. Example, I struck up a conversation with a barista at the cafe. All right, I hope you've had a lot of fun learning with the song. Remember, if you want to maximize your fluency, to listen to it again and again to really remember all that new vocabulary and improve your pronunciation by singing along. 
Now, if you want to support our channel and let YouTube know that you want more videos like this, then be sure to hit that like button below and remember to also subscribe. Also, check out that free three-part mini course I told you about. Check out this playlist with all of our lessons teaching you English with songs and this other lesson I think you'll really enjoy. Now, it's time to go be on the classroom and live your English. Aw, yeah.